This year I am at like half the amount of payouts what I had half of last year. And uh, it was very often the case that I almost get to the payout and then screwed it up at the last, last uh, day. It sounds like a painful experience. Welcome to the, the Trading Pit uh, podcast show. Really, really happy to have you on board. Before we begin, I, I have to ask you how to pronounce properly your name as well, uh, because you have a very unique name. How to properly pronounce it? It's Yurai. Ah, Yurai. Okay, super. Okay, it's much easier than what I expected. No worries whatsoever. So Yurai, uh, I wanted to, to kind of hear a little bit more about your trading experience and your whole journey. We're going to dive right in in a moment, but... Um, Generally speaking, you have been trading with us for a while and you've had already some success, some payouts that you've received. And uh, it sounds like you're growing with us as the company is growing, you're growing as well. Yes, 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 yes. Super. I'm very happy to to kind of have you on board with this. I want you to tell me really briefly kind of um, what made you interested in getting started with trading? What intrigued you in, in the charts and the numbers? I really like the uncapped uh, potential of it. So like every other job in life has some uh, limits regarding like how much can you earn with it and trading doesn't have such limit and that's what got me into it. So you are saying that trading is basically was an interest because you wanted to make a bit of an extra on the side. Not really. It's uh, more about like uh, figuring out how to get uh, to a career which uh, has an uncapped potential. So without any kind of limit about like how much can someone make. And yes, right now I am still making like less money with trading them with my regular job, but uh, I hope as I get better and better at it, eventually it will significantly surpass my regular so income. Your end goal is at some point to become a full-time trader only, or do you plan once you make a very big profit to keep working just to keep the the routine i'm not sure yet uh, i really need to get there first uh, to those like big profits i really want to get uh, uh, to a point when i make like uh, as an average yearly basis at least like five times with trading that i'm getting with a regular job in order to even consider uh quitting my job because otherwise i'm working as a software engineer so okay, it's like so... a good salary and everything so I don't really have reasons to quit <laughs> So you're anyways, your anyways, your day-to-day -day job is also all around computers. I'm assuming you're really tech savvy. So your introduction into the trading world was less challenging than the average person because you do know how to use a computer very, very well. Yes, 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 yes. Do you think that this is an advantage for you when you're analyzing trades, analyzing charts? I don't think that part is actually hard. The hard part is the emotional part of trading to actually be able to stick to the plan and if uh, if I let's say start making some plan violations then be able to stop fast enough before the trading account gets blown or something like that so so you're saying that the emotional part is the biggest challenge uh, yeah definitely I would say that whoever I speak with as well that's really really the biggest challenge for everyone to be able to completely detach and no one says he's a master a master of this art to detach completely emotionally. But mm. what is your tip on on trying to stay focused on the emotional aspect? If I review my own performance, uh, uh, like when did I do well, when did I uh, did uh, bad? Uh, anything that rate limiting trades helps and uh, also like rate limiting the screen time. Uh, so this means that, for example, if I already have funded account that only applies to that because on the challenge they had like very high goals, what needs to be reached. But uh, when uh, I'm already funded, I should really have the, I mean, will have the best performance if I just uh, limit myself to like two to three trades every day and then keep grinding up the account and have all of those trades like have some such set stop losses, set uh, take profits and uh, like breaks in between them and just uh, accept whatever result the market gives me. What is the best? But it's very challenging for me to do that uh, consistently. So that, that's the issue. I, know. I understand you completely. What would you say is like the best break to have to completely detach from the trading? I mean, uh, I need to do something else. 
What is your goal? Like you, you can just like as I say, I, I stop trading and then keep looking at the charts that will never work. So I need to like close every single chart, every single trading platform, and then do something completely different. For example, do some software development or something like that, or even like go out for a walk and then uh, go back and uh, see if there is any new trading opportunities. And I also really like to use like limit orders for everything just to um, be able to have a, a more planned approach and uh, try to enter at a certain level rather than being in rush and doing like market orders, for instance. I love how the first thing you said as a break to go do some software development. <laughs> It looks, it looks like you love what you do. You're really tech savvy. So what would you say is your trading style? What are your more preferred assets to trade on, for example? What is your preferred strategy? Really trading NASDAQ futures and uh, I'm mostly scalping it. And somehow I'm having better performance during the London session than you, during the New York session. I am not sure why is that, but... Uh, Usually the reason is that uh, I am better when there is like a sideways market where I can enter at like the resistance levels and the support levels and it's not like a heavy trend when I have no idea like when will this trend end and uh, all of that uh, things. But I am trying to improve on <laughs> this as well to be able to like trade both of these situations but uh, it's a bit challenging so yeah. So what do you do for for your improvement? I believe that every trader has his own path that he believes for self-development. What is the, the steps that you're taking to keep developing yourself and keep growing with the trading journey? Well, I have uh, like multiple things that I'm uh, doing. So first of all, I'm trying to... Like... Um, set uh, a certain size and just uh, do that and uh, see like how many trades in a row am I able to like see to that size and uh, let's do that. I'm also uh, trying to like scale up in terms of like trading like multiple accounts, multiple firms and also my own uh, personal accounts. That's also, that uh, helps a lot if I am able to actually be successful with it and get to the payouts, but if I don't, then it uh, can hurt a lot. So. <laughs> need to be kind of careful with this, but uh, overall, I think I, I was pretty successful with that. I had like uh, three different prop firms, including the trading pit where I already got to like five figure payouts. So that's pretty good. I guess. I'm happy to hear that. Um, so with what you've mentioned, I mean, with the steps that you're taking and how you're developing, what would you say that inspires you? to maybe try a new trade? Do you do you usually try new assets, new trades, or do you stick to the core? The issue is that I usually get burned with when I try to deviate too much. So the better I uh, stick to the core, the better the chance of the trades winning are kind of. But uh, I am mostly doing some experiments with this New York session uh, nowadays to see if I'm able to learn how to catch those bigger moves as well, because uh, I think that's uh, what I'm kind of lacking of. So I'm kind of good at uh, like catching the smaller moves, like a uh, um, five to 10 point scalps on NASDAQ, but uh, uh, catching those bigger moves, like I said, 30 to 50 points moves on NASDAQ, uh, when it's like trending, uh, that's what I am trying to get better at. Okay. So what would you say, how would you describe your daily routine? when you're sitting down for trading because you know there is i'm sure that a trader like yourself you don't just sit down on the computer and that's it you have a certain let's call it ritual that you do beforehand you wake up you meditate or you have your coffee what do you do before you start your trading and how would you describe your daily routine well, i don't have like a very set routine from that perspective but uh and I uh, said, so I'm also still doing the software development as full time. So I'm still doing like trading on the side, kind of. But uh, I, uh, what I, that I uh, do is uh, be observant of the time of the day. All right. So if I uh, start trading, I know like what kind of volatility should I expect based on the time of the day. And uh, 
I try to trade the strategy based on that uh, volatility, like knowing enough from that. Uh, for example, if I trade an Asian session, then I will need to expect like very low volatility. If I trade a New York session, then that's like very high volatility. So I need to always be aware of that, not just like starting at a random time. I also have like specific times when I do believe that the market often reverses. So for example, like one to two hours before the New York session, it realized to like reverse to the opposite direction and things like that. So I there are like all of these things that I'm taking into account when trading, but I don't really have like any fixed times that uh, I only trade between a certain time periods or something like that. I don't have that. I am just uh, uh, trying to focus on like uh, to choose the correct strategy for the correct time. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have any specific strategy or maybe let's say favorite indicator that you like to use before you begin your trading session? One of the strategies I do during the New York session. I am mostly looking for like real breakouts. So if uh, a certain level gets broken, then I expect it to move like uh, at least like 20 to 30 points to that uh, breakout direction. But that's what I'm going to get better at because it's not really working out always uh, as it should. So yeah, I need to add some better filterings there to uh, but be able to figure that out. I'm also using uh, like quite a lot of trend lines to know like uh, what to break. So I'm uh, looking at both like uh, the horizontal support and resistance levels and also like trend lines for the support resistances. So it sounds to me like you like to keep it simple, like you have your own specific method, but you tend to basically use the the more classic um, any any. Yes, yes, yes. I do believe that um, all of those indicators are just uh, making me kind of frustrated because uh, I expect them to work and then they don't work and that's just uh, a kind of problematic so I, I just prefer to use like the support resistance and the trend lines and I also do like multi-time frame analysis so if I uh, see like a higher time frame trend then I know that uh, it's usually better to just go with that direction when uh, there is like a trending time of the day so during like the New York session for example but uh, when there is like a London session then I really want to see on the higher time frame that it's like ranging to confirm that uh, it's ranging daily because sometimes it even can trend even during the New York session or even the London session. So yeah, I need to be aware of that. Okay. What is your opinion on um, people who are using AI or robots? Do you like AI? You don't like AI in trading. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I already gave, gave it a try to like code a trading bot and I wasn't able to get any consistent vectors results with it. So the results were that uh, there were like completely different results for each year each back to here. Okay. So because of that, I am just sticking to like manual trading because I'm able to better adopt to the market conditions. So I think that's the hardest part for like developing a trading bot to be able to correctly detect the market conditions and based on that formulate the strategy rather than just having like a strict strategy, which mm -hmm. only works on one particular market condition. Okay. Okay. Um, I want us also to talk a little bit about, um, the trading path that you've had so far in 2024. We're already end of July um, and we're seeing kind of a lot of uh, changes in the markets right now, you know, due to political stuff that are happening all over the world. But let's talk a little bit beforehand, like how is your trading journey so far in 2024 compared to the previous year? Well, honestly, it was better the previous year. So uh, <laughs> this year I am at like half the amount of payouts what I had like the last half of last year and uh, it was very often the case that I almost get the payout and then screwed it up at the last last uh, day for example last trading day or like uh, while I was waiting for the approval actually at the trading it is pretty good from that perspective that it uh, immediately locks the account after you reach the profit target so there is no way to like screw things up after you already get the uh, target so that's a very good thing it sounds like a painful experience yeah, yeah, because there are like prop firms out there which like um, makes you wait like two weeks just to get two paid weeks. and you can still continue trading during the, the, that time. But uh, if you screw it up, then it's over. So you can either like uh, completely stop trading, but then uh, you won't be able to get the next payout because of that. Or you will just, uh, you will need to wait like even more time. Or you can continue trading, but you need to do it in a way that uh, it doesn't... Uh, affect the PNA that much. Okay. Which already got collected. So 
Yeah, my goal is really to just be able to get to a point where I can get like multiple payouts from uh, the same account, right? So, so you, yeah, that's very hard to do. This. I will, I will say that currently with our new product with the Prime Challenge, it's something that you could definitely look into. I'm more f- focused on these futures products, so I'm waiting for you to open like a new futures plan. <laughs> that will be the best for me. Maybe. Maybe you will see something about that very, very, very soon in social media. Maybe I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, but I'm just maybe. Um, okay, so let's do like final two questions. I want to ask you first of all, what is your most favorite asset to trade right now, 2024? One Nasdaq. Asset. Nasdaq. As yeah. Who is that? Yeah. Keeping it classy. Yes. I love it. Okay. So what is your least favorite asset slash or, okay, the asset that betrayed you the most so far in 2024? I uh, had my biggest losses when I tried to trade like uh, smaller stocks uh, for earnings uh, costs, right? So I like tried to like buy it before the earnings and then anticipate it will be good and it turned out bad more times than it uh, turned out good. And uh, the interesting part was that when I started doing that, I was actually winning like uh, two, three times in a row. And after that, like five rules in a row and I lost more than one with that. So that was kind of bad. So I am not doing that again anytime soon. So I will be doing it, well, but with like very reputable companies, right? So for example, if I have like Google earnings then I will have some position open for that, but uh, I will be aware of the sizing. So I will try to like size it lower and only uh, trade these earnings on the like bigger companies, not the smaller ones. Okay, so you keep it classy. You stick to the classics, old school. Yeah. Okay, so what would be for the final, for the finale? What would be the number one tip you would give to a trader? Let's say someone that's starting tomorrow as a newbie. What would be the number one tip that you would give to someone before he gets started with trading or prop trading? I have a bunch of steps uh, <laughs> to it, uh, but uh, to get some call distance first, that would be the first event. How to do that uh, would be first like finding a strategy, uh, what uh, they backtest and figure out that it actually works and then trying to like implement it. But uh, I would uh, suggest that strategy to have like fixed uh, mm, take profit and stop loss levels just to keep it simple, like a fixed amount of points as take profit fixed amount of points as stop loss and uh, have like a rate limit that uh, they only take like uh, let's say two to three trades a day and uh, at least uh, also have like a limit set uh, like the minimum delay between the trades so for example at least like 30 minute delay in between trades and then just uh, see that with a constant size how many days in a row can they stick to that particular strategy like they have a trade count and the rate limit in between trades and uh, that stop loss and take profit, like keeping it there and see how many days in a row are they able to mentally be able to like do that and uh, not uh, break the rules. Okay. So consistency and sticking to the strategy. Yes. Yes. hundred percent. Thank you so much for hopping on this call. I really do appreciate it. Um, for us at the trading bit, we really like to keep it simple and this is trading as it should be. So I really appreciate you taking the time and explaining your input a little bit and showing some light on the, on how you're doing your trading. I think that generally speaking, when we're part of this huge trading community, it's important to share and kind of inspire each other. So it's really nice to hear from yourself a bit more about how you do it, keep it simple, you know, kind of hearing the little secrets from the people who are actually already succeeded and got the payout. So thank you so much for taking the time. And um, maybe maybe we'll be in touch in the future for uh, more futures products. Who knows? That would be great. I promise I will update you. Don't worry. Thank you so much for for taking the time for this call. Happy trading.